Hey folks, this is Bill Peters with another edition of uh, Ancient Alien Update. Uh, today, we're going to be looking at Google Earth and um, basically the Nazca area, and I'm going to show you some anomalies and how to spot things uh, using Google Earth, and that's basically what this is all about. So, enjoy the show folks, and let's get on with it, shall we? Okay, so hi folks, this is Bill Peters. Uh, first um, slide, we're going to look at these today. We're going to look at uh, Google Earth and the sort of side of Nazca, Peru. And if you notice, there's some several very strange anomalies. Uh, as far as the structure of the Earth is what we're going today for. So if you look, you'll see that the land almost takes on a shape of its own as it is, but if you, I'm looking mostly now at the physical formations, the the way everything comes together. You notice there's some anomalies here, as well as um, the next picture, which is right here, coming up. Now, the funny thing about Nazca area is that it's dry as a bone right up to the mountains the pe the highest peaks you get on the other side of those peaks and it turns into the rainforest which is very interesting and you'll see some strange geometric patterns here which are natural um, by all supposedly natural if you look in the center there that one could be uh, something else but what we're looking for is something different whenever you're on Google Earth this is what you're looking for something a little different like this here now that could be a crater that could be a lot of things but but it is different and it's worth investigation if you're in that area you can do the same thing in your own local areas if you want to um, find odd things now what I was looking for here is mostly uh, landing zones and stuff like that this is a possible landing zone. It was a possible meteor strike is what it is. Um, this next one shows a definite strange design up there. Uh, you can see that we're pulled back from that from the one we just saw. That's in the middle lower section, but the rest of it gives you a little better idea. It looks like several craters. Um, yeah, the moon was not the only one that got pummeled like that. Uh, it's very possible we could have craters just like the moon right here on Earth all over the place, and you would not know it due to ground cover, really. Okay, so we're looking for anomalies. Here's one um, very strange cut through the rock uh, of Nazca. Uh, I'm staying away from the the pictograms, everybody's seen those a million times. What we're looking at is the terrain around them. These are some, I know a lot of you are smart enough to figure out what I'm trying to do here um, as far as picking out anomalies uh, and finding that kind of stuff. So now let's go over the mountain range into the rainforest and let's look at this area just north of Nazca, north uh, east of Nazca you see at least this is kind of um, why I came up with my statement not too long ago about this South American band being not part of the Ice Age they were part of the flood but not part of the Ice Age this river has been whipping and oxbowing and going crazy for millennia I mean my god look at it uh, this particular oxbow is shaped almost like a turtle if you look at that one right dead center um, how the river went at right angles like that back into itself I don't know um, long time being eroded and flooded and everything else so these areas that would be a good gold area actually these areas could also be full of artifacts now let's go off the coast of Nazca and as we pull across we start seeing formations this is under the water in the ocean Pacific Ocean 
and we're going to follow this. What I from Nazca, it's an interesting rock formation. If you go there and look under the water, it goes and it stays um, a little higher than the rest, and it heads. Here's another version. Notice these conical things. They kind of look like pyramids underneath there. I'm not going to say the pyramids because I'm not a moron like some people are. Because it could easily just be a mountain top from ancient times. Without eyes on sight, um, you wouldn't know. The, by the way, those locations are there on the screen. Okay, now Nazca on the right. If you look to, you see this little bridge. And believe it or not, that little bridge, when when the Ice Age was there, that would have been land. So, according to what I can tell, it looks like you could have walked all the way to um, the friggin' Bahamas, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Not the Bahamas, I'm sorry. But, um, some of these other islands like these. Alright, so... This is continuing west from Peru. You see interesting, very interesting um, formations. And the way it looks is that when that was above water, you would have walked, been able to get, be able to at least see it from land to go to the next one. And uh, on and on and on. Now, if we go to this next picture here. We have more of the bridge. You can see all you'd have to do is go northwest up and then just follow the range, the mountain range. Um, the coordinates are on the bottom right of these um, photos, so you can easily find them in Google Earth. Um, and I, I suggest everybody that can try it and check it out because it's very, very cool, but also confusing at times. There other filters you can put on as well. All right, now here, you'll know. I'm just. I basically what I did is I kept following that, the rise in the land all the way across because I just read an article about how the Peruvians had no mongoloid DNA, but they did have the Aboriginal DNA. So that would have put them in New Zealand, and I did find this land bridge that. It would have been mostly up above water, not entirely. And from far back, you see where you end up after all that. You can see that where the land bridges would have been. You could have gone north from there up to the top and such. So, yeah, I mean, it looks pretty good to me as far as that goes. Okay, so now we come to this interesting structure here. This is off the coast of Peru, as you can see on the right. But if you look, there's a strange squareness in the middle, I found. And I got quite excited because it shows some, well, intelligent design, let's call it. See that square in the middle? I'm going to give you a close-up here in a second, and you'll be able to see what got my attention. So here is when you zoom up, you see another square inside another square so interestingly enough it gets even more interesting you can see the conical placement of the different things there and I forget the well it should tell you the depth there on the thing there okay so what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in yet again and look what we find in the middle of that square a pretty well lined up set of those cones and does it line up with the ones on in Egypt the, the, the pyramids of Egypt uh, I haven't looked at the line I haven't looked at it to compare for this but um, I should have I guess okay so and here's just beyond that, back along the way, you can see it's part of that same formation. It's just not right in the square. You see a perfectly set line of these cones to the lower center left. And that got my attention. 
This is what you're looking for out there on Google Earth is these anomalies. Pick your own local area, you'll find stuff you never knew existed. Here I just put this in because I thought it was amazing how we have this huge rift that goes down through and then you have almost a perfect land bridge from South America to Florida and all the way around. Um, I think that's where we're going to find the solutions to our problems or our questions is what happened when the seawater rose. So, um, check out Google Earth, and this has been another edition of Ancient Alien Update, and have a great day, folks, and enjoy the rest of your day. Take care now, and bye-bye.